This nor'easter is the latest in this series of storms to hit our region. Forecasters say part of the problem is a weather pattern we experience every seven to nine years called El Nino. Officials at the Richard Stockton College Coastal Research Center say this is the ninth nor'easter since September 2nd of last year. That compares to only one major nor'easter in the previous two years. Forecasters say there are two weather factors to blame. A low pressure system over Canada that hasn't changed for months. The other factor is the El Nino weather pattern. That usually occurs about every seven years when the equatorial waters of the Pacific Ocean are warmer than normal. In the east coast, the uh, jet stream has been diving to the south, so we're wetter, but not necessarily warmer. So basically what you get is a storm about every six to nine days. Dr. Stuart Farrell says New Jersey experienced a similar pattern of coastal nor'easters in the winter of 1982 and 83. He says this is the worst series of storms that have caused shore erosion since February of 1998. The intensity of each individual one is, um, it, it varies, and this one tends to be a fairly intense one. The severe weather raises the question of whether global warming plays any role. That's in play in terms of the temperature of the central Pacific Ocean. The warmer that water is, even a degree or two centigrade higher, it means that evaporation is that much more vigorous off the surface. So that means more water in the atmosphere, which means more condensation, more heat transfer, and therefore more intense storms. Spring may be less than a month away, but Farrell says there is the possibility that the El Nino weather system could bring us a very wet spring. Reporting from Trenton, Ed Rogers, NJN News, back to you.